Hey folks, uh, this is uh, modeling with absolute value functions. So these are the application problems. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So, so here's an example, you guys. Light travels in a straight line. So here's a light bulb right here. It travels in a straight line and it can be modeled by a linear function. And when light is reflected off this mirror right here, here's a side view of a mirror right here, it travels in a straight line in a different direction. So here it is, it gets reflected off this way right here, okay? So from physics, this angle right here, which becomes the angle of incidence, is equal to this angle right here. And so we can use these absolute value functions to, to solve some equations right here, okay? And it's just called the law of reflection in physics, okay? So we're, we're gonna use this kind of model and solve uh, these uh, application problems. So here's the first one. Here. At a science museum exhibit, a beam of light originates at a point 10 feet off the floor. Okay, so, so we got 10 feet off the floor. So let's imagine we're over here and we're up at 10 feet right here. So here's a wall. So it's up being reflected 10 feet off a floor and it reflects off a mirror on the floor that's 15 feet away. So this little area is 15 feet. Don't worry, I got a picture coming up off the wall. So how high off the floor off the opposite wall does the light hit if the other wall is 8.5 feet from the mirror. Okay, let's get a picture going here. So don't forget our goal is y equals a times x minus h and then absolute value then plus k, okay? And they want functions, so f of x or g of x or h of x, whatever right there. All right, so here we are. So here it is, it's 10 feet off the floor. So we'll call this 0, 10 right here, okay? And so here's the floor. So the light gets reflected on this mirror right here and they tell us this mirror is 15 feet right right here and then how high is that reflection going to be up here how high is a y answer right here when this is 8.5 feet away right there okay if this is 15 feet and this is 8.5 feet then if this is 0 0 over here is going to be uh, what 8 uh, 15 plus 8.5 is, is 23.5 so so we're looking for this y value right here so this this is going to have coordinates 23.5 comma y okay so let's go ahead and uh, this is going to be 0, 10 right here because it's 10 feet off the floor. This is going to be 15, 0. Makes it nice and easy for our vertex right there. Okay, and we want to know the height of this other wall right there. Okay, all right, so the vertex is that 15, 0. And then the, another point on f of x, I should have labeled it, but I will in this next little slide right here, is that uh, 0, 10 right here. So we're going to use that point to get our equation, 0, 10. And the opposite wall, how far? Is, is from the first wall. Okay, remember this is 15 feet, and then they tell us that it's 8.5 feet. I think I bolded that. Yeah, I did. I bolded all of that right there. So if we add those together, we get 23 feet. So this ordered pair is 23 or 23.5, 23.5 comma y. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for this y, this height of the other wall right there. Okay, so here we go. So y equals a times x minus h um, plus k with the absolute value. So our vertex is at 15, 0. So opposite same. So here's our equation. Now from the last lesson, we can substitute this point in right here, 0 goes in for this x right here and then um, this 10 is going to go in for that y right there okay so let's go ahead and do that and then when we solve you guys the absolute value this is negative 15 but if the absolute value is positive 15 so we get 10 equals 15 a okay slide that up 10 equals 15 a and divide by 15 and and uh, so we get uh, 10 15 so or two-thirds five goes into that two five goes into that three times there's a right there two-thirds so now we know that equation right there okay now all we got to do is substitute in this point right here this is x this is y and then we're going to solve for y right there and that's going to give us um, our height of the other wall right there okay so here we go so we're going to substitute that in, solving for y. Remember, we're looking for y, so 23.5. And then I changed two-thirds to a decimal, which is 0.667. And then 23.5 minus uh, 15 is, is 8.5. Okay, and then multiply those out right there, and we get y equals 5.6695. Okay, and then so the beam of light will hit the other wall at about 5.7 feet. All right, let's try another one here, you guys. Two students are bounce passing a ball back and forth, allowing it to bounce once between them. So this is, ju this is just like that mirror thing. 
Okay, so if one student bounce passes a ball from a height of 1.4 feet, so he's over here at 1.4 feet, and it bounces away, three feet away from the student, so over here it's going to be three feet away, so it goes bounce, this distance right here is three, don't worry, we got a picture coming up. Okay, and then so where should the other student stand to catch the ball? Over here at 1.2 feet. Okay, so here's a picture right here. So he's at uh, 1.4 feet, and this just treat this as 0, 0, makes it nice and easy that way. Here's the vertex, 3, 0, because it's 3 distance away right there. And then we're looking for x this time because it's asking... Uh, where should, right here, where should the second student stand to catch the ball at a height of 1.2 meters, okay? Remember, height is a y answer, so we're looking for this x answer right here, okay? So, now, uh, 1.2, this height of 1.2, there's going to give us two answers here, and the other, the reason why is, is because there's another height right here, 1.2, so when we get our two answers, we got to see which one makes more sense, okay? So the smaller number over here is going to be for this height. All right, let's go ahead and get, get going here. So uh, HK, so we plugged in uh, 3 comma 0. So there's our uh, function right there. And now we're going to substitute in 0, um, 1.4 to get A. Okay, so here we go. And then uh, we get uh, divide. So uh, let's see. So we get um, A is about 0.47 because I divided 1.4 divided by 3. So when we did 1.4 divided by 3, we get about 0.47 right there. So there's our equation right there. Okay, so now we're going to substitute in x comma 1.2. Okay, so we're solving for this x right here comma 1.2. All right, so here we go. And we get that value right here. So now I'm going to take this 1.2 and divide it by 0.47. You guys with me? And I think I physically did that here. Yeah. So 1.2 divided by 0.47 gives us about 2.55. Okay. Equals uh, absolute value of x minus 3. Now let's get let's review about absolute value, you guys. Remember when we first started this in module uh, 2.1? The absolute value of negative 5 was 5. The absolute value of positive 5 was also 5. So if we had the absolute value of some number equals 5, then that some number could be uh, 5 or negative 5. It could be one of these right here. So when you see an algebra shot right here, the absolute value of x equals 5, then we say it equals plus or minus 5. We're going to use this uh, logic right here to say uh, this absolute value is going to equal plus or minus this 2.5. And then we solve x minus 3 equals 2.5 x minus 3 equals a negative 2.5. Here's the plus or minus 2.5. Okay, so here we go plus 3 plus 3, so we get 5.55. Here we go uh, plus 3 plus 3, and we get a uh, 0.45. Now remember, we get two answers right there. Well, those two answers tell us... Um, um, uh, this answer or this answer. Well, we want this answer here. We don't want this one here. So what's the, so how how far away is this other person going to be? He's going to be at this x value of 5.55, so about 5.6 feet away from the first student right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and that would be your assignment if you're in my class. Take care.